Well today we're going to be doing a bit of sewing. So uh, I've decided I wanted to make a uh, jacket from the film Alien and it's a jacket worn by uh, Dallas. So let's see if we can find a picture. Oh, here comes Maggie Moon. Here comes to help. She loves to help with sewing, don't you? Yeah. So at the end of the film Dallas wears a Rather nice jacket. Oh, let's have a look, see if we can find a good image of it. If I can't find a good image, I will find one off the internet. Let's have a look. So, you ready? Uh, so it's a Nostromo jacket. Um, they were originally made from um, <clears throat> an RAF M41 cold weather jacket. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, so, they were originally made from an RAF jacket, the 1940s, 50s and 60s, they used them right up, um, M41 uh, cold weather jacket, I couldn't think of the words there, um, and they used to be dirt cheap, they used to pick them up for like a fiver each, but now they're sort of £100 plus, so I'm going to just make one, um, it doesn't look to be a too complicated a design, um, so this is going to be a uh, a, a jacket that's sort of inspired, if not necessarily, I'm going to try and make it as accurate as I can but obviously I'm not a professional tailor, I can't make it into the same sort of specifications that the RAF did um, so we're going to have a look um, but I've uh, drawn up all pattern parts I just drew up my own patterns um, and then I've bought a load of material, lots of stuff, been out to uh, Abercown Fabrics today um, so what we're going to do is start laying out the patterns. Well, I now have a lot of parts, <laughs> so basically cutting two sets out, so I'm going to make two jackets at once. Um, so the next step is to start putting it all together. So there's a lot of bespoke making on this jacket because um, there's various zips on the front on panels that need making. There's a side pocket needs making. The hardest part is going to be Got to make, uh, I'll show them here, but basically we're going to have to make probably a hundred or so little folds like that, cut it off, and then they go get sewn behind the ribbon, and that goes up the sleeve. So each sleeve needs about that much times two, with probably 30, 40, 50 uh, little loops, and then cable goes through the loops just bring it all together. I couldn't get pink pipe in for the lapel so I'm going to have to make my own and I couldn't get the same colour zips um, so it's going to be a bit of a mix and match job um, on those. I think I got four of them, four of them, two big blue ones so I think the first job probably is going to be to do the sleeve pocket get that done because that's a you know sort of easy quick win okay so i've made the sleeve pocket i mean it's functioning you can put your pens in if you want but basically it, it gets put on and then covered up anyway but it's just a nice detail to have so i've got to make another one of them okay so i've made a lot of the uh, extra little bits that go on when you're sewing the body, so epaulets, um, the cold shoulder collar tab, cold shoulder tab, <laughs> okay, uh, the pocket as I showed before, and the two wrist tabs. So what we're going to do now is start sewing up the main body and see how that goes.
Okay, so I've attached the collar. We've got the uh, sort of uh, throat guard there. I put the guard over the zip, and the zip's in. Um, so the next step is going to be the sleeves. Uh, it's coming on quite nice. The pink trim came out pretty decently. Uh, so overall, I'm quite pleased with it at the moment. It could all go wrong. Okay, so I've done a fair bit of sewing on it. So pretty much the jacket body is where it needs to be. I've seen the uh, parts. I don't need to get rid of all these long threads. So you've got the nice collar. You've got the part that covers the buttons. Still waiting for the buttons to turn up. I didn't bother lining it uh, because I wanted to keep it as a lightweight jacket. Um, I've actually made two. So one for a friend of mine, one for me. So the next step is going to be uh, making the the ribbon parts and that's going to be the time consuming part because there's just so much of it. Um, but I've enjoyed it so far. I hope the the ribbon parts come out, but we shall see. Okay, so I've made the front sort of stomach panels, so they've got a zip on each side that doesn't really do anything. Although you could if you wanted to cut the back, sew it on and make a pocket. And then I've created the these bits, I don't know what you call them, lacings. Uh, and also the sleeve ones, and then on one of my jackets I sewn them on um, and laced them up like that. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty good. Um, so I've got to put the sleeve ones on. I should have really sewn them up and machine stitched them on before I put the sleeves on. It would have made it much easier, but I'm just going to have to hand stitch them on. Um, and I've also attached the buttons finally turned up. Uh, which I thought they were metal, but they're actually plastic, but they look like metal. It's good, good finish, whoever did that. Uh, and that's just a length of cord, and then they're called slot back buttons. I use more military stuff a lot, so it's coming along nicely. Well, the jacket's finished. Um, we're in the garden, and we're surrounded by alien creatures, little birds, so they're very noisy. Um, so it's actually really comfy, one of the most comfortable costumes I've done. Um, it's fully functional, so the zip does up. You've also got the flap with the buttons on, and they will function. We'll to do them up. Um, so they do right up. Uh, you've got the panels on there, they don't actually function. But like I say, you could split that and make a pocket if you wanted to, but I think that would be a bit uh, dangerous of it falling off. You've got the adjustable tabs uh, and then of course you've got the rather nice new Thermo logo on the back so all together I'm really proud of this one um, I'm glad I made it it was actually a lot simpler than uh, it appears on the film so they've got the pink trim which was inset I didn't bother lining them because I thought they'd be quite heavy so we get like the threads everywhere uh, so we've just got a partial lining just makes it a lot easier and then I've used the overlocker. If you're doing any sort of um, costuming or sewing or anything, get yourself an overlocker. Best purchase ever. Yeah. I just love them. Um, so, we've got the military style uh, buttons that do up. You've got the, the flap that goes over. All the buttons work. I uh, couldn't get a yellow one off eBay. No one had them, so I've got a I need to just tack that on again. Uh, so I got a black one. I figured that would do for now. Um, then you've got the panels, and they've got the zips, which I might split that and use that as a pocket. Um, you've got the, uh, the sort of the webbing with the uh, sort of the, the cross cords, and then down the arm. So you've got the Nostromo badges. And then down the arms you've got more of the webbing stuff. Um, you've got Velcro on the sleeves, so you can pull them in. It's quite a short jacket. Um, and then on the back, this came out really well. My wife used her uh, cutter and she can print this stuff. So it's got the Nostromo on it. 
Uh, I did a couple of tabs on mine because it was a little bit large. Um, and you've even got the fake pen holder that they sewed over. So yeah, so I've got two of them. One for my uh, friend Eric's 60th. 60, wherever the year is going. Uh, and one for me. Uh, and they're both Dallas, obviously, from uh, from Alien. Oh, look at the threads. I'm terrible at cutting all the loose threads off. I'll have to do that with a little thread cutting session. It'll be quite therapeutic. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more sewing stuff, uh, let me know. Um, I've got quite a few costumes I could go through. I've got stuff from Star Trek, uh, Doctor Who, Monkey. <laughs> Made a monkey costume. Um, oh, I forgot to say it's got the collar flap as well. And then that goes round. I need to sew a button on there actually. Well remembered me. I forgot to do it. Um, yeah, let us know if you want to see more sewing stuff. I know it's not to everyone's uh, liking. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can. Um, and remember, I've now got a Patreon uh, going. So if you want to uh, help the channel out, um, you know, with a couple of quid every month, that would be very, very much appreciated. But other than that, just thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks, Ed. Bye.